So you were uh, at Rock and Park yesterday. What was the crowd like? The crowd were wild. There wasn't a huge amount of people, but the people that were there were losing their inhibitions in the rain. What exactly does that mean? Well, there was some uh, some good activity in the some crowd. Some bras flying. Mm, I didn't see any bras flying, but <laughs> there were some today. people flying, you know. But do you still stay dive now, or do you think, mm, maybe? I'm too scared now. <laughs> oh, he did. He did it in New York just after he had a right, shoulder yeah. operation, and he dislocated it again. You're kidding. Yeah. Hmm. So. Yeah, you, you just had, like, a, a a tour in the state. How did yeah. that go? Yeah, really, really, really well. It was fun. Playing loads of little venues, and people were really into it. So you... Is it you who likes to sort of dress up and go into the crowd? Or was that just a joke? Because I saw you had these wigs and stuff and you said you like to sort of disguise. Yeah. Because um, I still wanted to go out and watch the bands. like, So I just put silly clothes on and a wig. and. I've thought about that a couple of times, though, because I always think it's really sad for people who you know are really famous that they can never see bands playing from the front because, you know, obviously everyone's going to talk to them and want autographs and stuff yeah. like that. So, I mean, I was thinking, why didn't they just put on a wig and a glass? Yeah, I just wanted doesn't, to... It doesn't really to... work, though. You never did it successfully. No, you, 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 you always still get recognised, yeah. yeah. And you also used to do the gig posters and you designed the album cover. Yeah, I still do some gig posters. I did one for a recent show and I, like, start ideas with album covers but then we sort of, like... I, I'll draw things or put a concept together and then we like bounce off each other to finish it. Nice, because I, I think, it's, isn't it your dog that's on the front of the one of the albums? Yeah, he inspired one of the album covers, yeah. Nice. So you have him integrated there. Yeah. And how do you feel about playing at Rock am Ring? Did you, have you heard about it before and what does it mean to you, that festival? Yeah, it's legendary. We played it two years ago as well on a different stage, so it's always nice to come back and move up a, to a bigger stage. And for you? Yeah, I mean, when we played last time, it was great, but yeah, it's nice to see the crowd sort of growing and to feel like more involved in the festival, a little bit higher up the bill and stuff. Obviously. Feels good. Nice. Is there anybody that you're looking forward to seeing today? Because Prophets of Rage are going to be here, I don't know if you... We yeah, we watched them, them last night ah. and I watched System of a Down. To I think Tom Morello is probably my favourite guitarist ever, so... Watching him for the first time was pretty incredible. Like, a lot of the things I do are inspired by him, so he's really, really cool. I think you got to know each other through a different band, is that right? Yeah, we were both in separate bands and then kind of met on the, on the uh, sort of Kent music circuit and appreciated what each other did. And then, yeah, we were in a, we were in a band together and then we just broke off and started doing this. Because you had the feeling it's a better combination. Yeah, we just had like a little spark from very early on. And then I think when you sort of started off, it was pretty harsh in the sense that like you'd have to see where where we're going to stay the night and how we're going to pay food. Can you remember any certain incidents or anecdotes or something where you thought, right, I've had enough, I'm I'm going to give up. This is not my lifestyle. Or did you just think? We never it? wanted to give up, but we had some pretty dark times sleeping on like people's art studio floors in Sheffield with no lock on the door and like rats running around. Wow. <laughs> and like waking up, like we'd all inhaled like a pint of dust each where it was just like not somewhere you should be sleeping. We've done some tough shows, but it was character building. So that, does that make you appreciate what's happening now more in a sense? Yeah, I'm glad. I'm really glad we came up the hard way. Mm -hmm. I feel like we've got much more appreciation for for the shows and for the crowds and we played for so long to no one and like no one gave a shit so it's so we really appreciate the position we're in now yeah no because i i saw that you had uh, there was like the bbc did this report about you and you were talking about gigs where there was maybe 30 people even and less than that like we played to literally like no one one <laughs> one <laughs> no person one. we played to one person in cardiff once did you yeah how could you describe that to me was he did you? How he was just. He was probably just stood there because he felt sorry for us. Like, oh no! <laughs> you know, it's fun. Wow. It's good. That's pretty exclusive, though, in a sense, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> if he remembers VIP it. VIP concert. Then. I really want to see because the videos I saw of you were really intense. It looked like, but I think I have to do an interview. But if I can, I'm definitely going to come and see yeah. you. Cool. Thank you so nice much. Nice one. Thank you. Thank you.